Okay, so the screen is visible. Okay, I'll just do this problem, simple problem. Your account is not forward to others also. Then, oh, maybe we can have uh, good strength. Hmm? Okay. So now the problem here is, a transport company is earning a fleet of six buses between the two towns. That is uh, 75 kilometers apart. So they are running six buses. They are traveling for two town, town, towns and they are having a kilometer of 75 kilometers apart. So seating capacity of each bus is 40 passengers. The following particulars are available for the month of June 2016. See, apart from this uh, information, they have also given you the standing variables and as well as the variable charges. Okay, this format, see here. Now we have to take up this format. We have to do problem on this method also. Now this prob method problem, the questions has been come. Like here, uh, you will have fixed cost, wherein you should know what are your fixed costs. Fixed costs are those costs which, which do not change for a certain period of time. Where they are fixed, like example per annum, per year, uh, certain things uh, which which has a value for uh, more number of years also. Okay, in that way, the things which do not change their values, neither their, uh, uh, this thing, what is that, uh, uh, their services, that will be considered as your fixed cost. And whereas variables, see, the term itself tells you variables means it keeps varies. It keeps, it, it keeps changing. Okay, like, you know, uh, per kilometer, uh, maybe like uh, diesel, oil, the prices, the prices may hike, the prices may low. Okay, uh, they may uh, they may increase or decrease in the prices. Okay, so that way the things the things or the services which keeps on changing every now and then those things and those items will be calculated under the variable or running cost. So now the question here is they have given you two methods here. First is naturally what I taught you six markers. That method also should be applied under this and as well as the operating cost sheet. So under cost sheet, see these are these are the things which they have given in together they have given. But we had to oh, uh, we have to split this what comes under your fixed and what comes under your variables. So wages of drivers, conductors, and cleaners is three thousand six hundred. Salaries of office and other staff is thousand five hundred. Then diesel and other oils is ten thousand three twenty. Repairs and maintenance is thousand two hundred. Taxation, insurance, etc. two thousand four hundred. Then we have depreciation three thousand nine hundred and interest on capital is three thousand. Further, the question also says. Actual passengers carried were 80% of the seating capacity. But what was the seating capacity which was given before? 40 passengers. But out of 40 passengers, another um, another 40 passengers have been added. So that becomes 80% of the seating capacities. Okay. So all the buses run on all the days of the month. That means they are working all the 30 days in a month. Then each buses makes only one round trip per day. Okay. So but how many towns they are traveling? They are traveling to two towns here. But they are going to make only one one trip. Only going trips they are making. Coming back, they are not carrying any passengers. They are coming empty, empty buses. Okay. So that way the question has been given to you. First, what we have to do, what are we supposed to calculate? Find out the cost per passenger kilometer. They are asking us to calculate cost per passenger kilometer. But before calculating cost per passenger kilometer, we need to know what is the total cost. Total cost of the passengers as well as uh, then taking up the total cost then we have to calculate the uh, cost per passenger kilometer okay so for that before calculating your operating cost first let's calculate the general calculation for the general calculation we call it as total cost total cost of anything it can be about your buses about your passengers uh, it can be any information whatever it is provided in the transportation okay so general calculation will go like this passengers kilometer for the month are calculated now even passengers heading is come here isn't it even that because the buses are taking up the passengers and then they're do, doing the uh, this thing services they're traveling from two towns isn't it so that way we have to multiply everything now i told you whenever they give you information like this like six buses kilometers number of days uh, trips total number of trips and the capacity everything multiply everything whatever the information is provided in the question multiply everything put together everything that will be called as your total cost okay so taking that total cost taking that initiative if you have to calculate your operating cost under operating cost always you'll be calculating per rate value rate per values you'll be calculating okay so now what is the number of buses so a transport company is running 
a fleet of six buses, isn't it? So six buses into what is the distance covered by them? <laughs> 75 kilometers, isn't it? So 75 into what is the capacity of each bus? Each bus is carrying 40 passengers. But actually the capacity was 40, but they are carrying how much? More than 40 only they are carrying, so 80%. So this 80% they have given, 80% only should be written here. All right. And this two, what is this two? This two is nothing but two towns they are going and they are taking only one trip. So two into one. Okay, make sure you write it as two into one here. Directly they have taken two here. So two into one is two. Into 30. 30 is what? Number of days that they have traveled in a month. So all the 30 days they are working in a month. So multiply everything. See, now you will be getting 8,64,000 passengers kilometers. Now you have got, this is the total. Now what is this? This is the total passenger kilometers. Now you have to calculate cost per passenger kilometer. To calculate cost per passenger kilometer, you have to take up the table like this. You have to write operating costs, whichever year, month or whatever you have to write on the heading. Here towards your right side, towards your right side, draw two columns. That is two columns will be of amount column. Okay, one will be for rupee, one will be for per unit, anything. But now here nothing has been given to you in the form of units here. So both the things will be in the form of rupees, isn't it? At the top, you have to write, because taking up this passengers kilometers, 8,64,000 passengers kilometers, we are going to calculate what are the other expenses and other uh, extra charges that were applied during that particular journey for the six buses. Okay. So now you have to take up the headings like this. First, you take up standing charges. Go according to the format. Okay. According to the format, we have always fixed cost first. Do not take up variable. We have to go. We have to follow the format. For format also, you will be given the marks. So don't forget the format and see this is a specimen copy of the format wherein they have given the vehicle number cost unit uh, that is a period from when to when they have travel date and number of cost of units or whatever usually in your exams they will give you in detail when they provide you in detail this you should by heart the format should be by hearted and uh, everything should be written in detail okay so now listen to this one and one more thing here is see according to the format your total fixed cost, whatever comes under your total fixed cost, this will be considered as total A. Okay. So, whatever expenses or whatever incomes you are uh, taking under the variables, this will be your total B. So, put together this two, you have to add this. Only when you add it, you will get certain amount. That amount should always be multiplied with your actual kilometers, units, tons, whatever you calculate this way. No? This should be divided then you will be getting any per rate. It can be any per rate. It can be passengers per rate, uh, per ton, per kilometer. Okay, so division is uh, considered here to find out the actual per rate values. Okay, so now under standing charges, let's go back to the standing charges. What are your standing charges now? Standing, I told you in the beginning itself that those are the things which do not change, which do not change their value and services for a certain period of time and they are fixed. Okay. So, wages of drivers, conductors and cleaners, of course. Now, see this thing, this capacity of six buses, it is happening only for a month. It is not taking for years, it is not taking for month, uh, months together also. So, this information is given to you for one month. So, that means for a month it is fixed. The salaries of drivers, conductors, cleaners, it is fixed. So, wages of drivers, conductors and cleaners is a fixed one. So, 3,600 you are supposed to write it in the first amount column. The next salaries of office and other stuff, even sal salaries means you should know that it is being fixed. They do not uh, get every day or every week the amount, the uh, salary will not change for them. Okay. So before they take up the service, uh, they fix up their salaries before itself. So that is fixed. So salaries also to be considered 1,500. Then taxation and insurance, you know, you, you pay tax only after your service is done, isn't it? And insurance also, you will be paying at a certain period of time. Only when you have uh, any renewal or, uh, yeah, insurance, so obviously you have to keep on paying it every year. It has to get renewed every time. So maybe your insurance should be paying on the buses. Okay. So that buses, any taxation and insurance, everything will be for a fixed period of time. So that also comes under your standing charges. Then interest on capital. Yes, of course, interest on capital means, like example, maybe you have borrowed certain loan from the bank to purchase the six buses. That six buses uh, are, uh, you have taken the loan on the basis of loan, maybe you have uh, purchased the buses. So obviously uh, for the bank, you have to pay certain interest, maybe every month or uh, every uh, every three months or six months. It depends on the transaction, whatever you do with the bank, with your vehicle, that interest will be paid. So interest on capital means the capital is nothing but the original investment of the 
vehicles or whatever you have to keep on paying the interest okay so the interest always it is fixed it is like per annum okay so but depends but but now you are taking only for a month no <clears throat> so that's the reason you have taken under standing charges so only four entries are there under your standing charges wages salaries of office taxation interest of capital interest on capital so add everything see here you have to add everything after adding your total a your total a or it can be total standing charges will be 10500 All right. Then next, you take up the next heading as variable charges. That is according to the format. Next is variable or running costs. You can take up any heading. Under this, whatever the remaining things are there, you have to see it is coming under your variables or not. Yes, of course, you have diesels and other oils, other oil lubricants. You know, no, the prices of diesel, petrol, oil, it keeps fluctuating. Okay, maybe for a month it may be fixed, but at the same time, the prices, the per the per paisa also will uh, increase. depending on the demand and the supply from where you are getting it okay so diesel and other oil these are all variables it keeps changing so 10320 is the value of that repairs and maintenance you never know when the repair may come up for the buses uh, maintenance also has to be done every now and then isn't it uh, depends on how the buses are being uh, used uh, certain incidents also may happen accidents also may happen and usual things also may happen for the buses you never know maybe the driver is not driving properly so he may hit the uh, bus somewhere and a lot of loss to the buses so unnecessary things will usually take place when it comes to vehicles isn't it you never know so that point of time repairs and maintenance is must it has to be get done every month so th- that also depends what are your charges whom are you paying whether you're paying to the you're keeping the cleaners whether you keep whether you're having certain uh, concerned people or whether you're giving it for services again so that also comes under repairs and maintenance so that also needs to be written then depreciation always remember depreciation is something like it keeps fluctuating and depreciation is all is always a variable charge it keeps on changing because uh, depreciation is certain thing again uh, if if you have uh, purchase a major this thing vehicle on that uh, 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 i think you must have studied this higher purchase system <laughs> have you come across higher purchase system in your uh, financial accounting where you'll be the down payment cash price and depreciation is charged on a straight line basis uh, annuity method okay so depreciation is a variable thing it does not come under your standing it comes under your this thing and one more thing uh, let me tell you this depreciation is something which is a must which is a compulsory uh, charge or you can tell it is a compulsory variable charge this is the simplest thing it is a, it is a simple problem that depreciation is provided to you directly sometimes in the question in the further questions when you are taking a 14 marker question depreciation you have to calculate by yourself and to calculate depreciation there are different ways to calculate the depreciation values so as and when you do here see let me show you one example yahan pe dekho ye ye kha ke this one is one example depreciation directly it was not given in spite what they had given to us cost divided by estimated life through this also we have to calculate depreciation values it will not be given to you in the questions here when it comes to putting marker some advanced problems and all see annually per hour per gallon see all this thing we have to look out what is an alternative way to calculate the depreciation values this is one alternative way and one more is see one more uh, the value actual value of your uh, vehicle then depreciation value for how many years uh, how many months or how many years the depreciation has been charged so this is one of the alternative way to calculate depreciation values uh, then you have see over here also see there is no specific uh, uh, what do you tell uh, uh, criteria or i can tell you an option where depreciation will be easier for you to calculate okay depends on the information depends on the actual information how you are going to calculate the depreciation because sometimes every problem is different uh, has different calculations of depreciation but as and when you pick up the uh, distinct solution you will definitely uh, be able to understand but it is quite little complicated one but when you know actually how to do it the method to do it then it will be easier for you to do the depreciation calculation i'm telling you before only because because once i start off here see again here depreciation ka change ho gaya effective kilometers per kilometer bahut sa so based on that the depreciation will be calculated but pray that in your exams depreciation in the question itself matlab the, the the information should be provided to you in the question itself so that it will be easy because this is one of the major thing 
okay and without which no problem will be completed without the depreciation adjustment so if this kind of simple problem is given then you people are very lucky okay but it's okay as and when you practice you will have the habit of learning the methods of calculation of depreciation so therefore depreciation also we have taken so take them to the total here only three things are there under variable charges that is the diesel repairs and depreciation so add everything uh, you will be getting 15000 kitna mila 15420 you have got the answer all right so now this is your total and total b so now what is the next step under the your cost sheet you have to add here grand total you have to take a plus b so now this will be your 25920 is your total cost now taking this these cost these are your these are the part of your buses okay because under this buses thing only you are doing all these adjustments isn't it it is nothing apart from your uh, buses so everything is included under your buses but this first method what we did the general calculation this was to calculate the passengers information because they are carrying passengers they are traveling doing this that lot many things but how the buses are been maintained in the standing charges and the variable charges taking this information also the last calculation is cost per passenger kilometer total cost which costed for them was 25920 divided this is the division not the plus sign this is the division here number of passengers they are they are uh, traveling kilometers so we have already calculated this 864000 take the total cost divide karo dono ka you will get the answer so per passenger is paying 3 paisa for traveling per passenger kilometer so per passenger is paying 3 paisa to travel for two towns taking 75 kilometers only one way they are going okay every month they are they are paying 3 paisas i mean every month that's not every day every day 3 paisa will be charged for them okay so passenger is paying 3 paisas so this is how the calculation is done when they are provided you this uh, uh, to calculate total passenger kilometers as well as to calculate cost per passenger kilometer okay so any doubts you have in this no ma'am understood yes ma'am okay theek hai so only three of you all are there or three or four four okay. of you all are four ma'am अच्छा ठीक है ओके देखो इसका सिमिलर प्रॉब्लम तो मैं ये कर सकती हूँ ये वाला 5.2 सेम है इसमें सिक्स बसेस का इंफॉर्मेशन लेकर है वेर इन इन दिस दे हैव गिवन फोर बसेस का देन सेम थिंग वेजेस सैलरीज देन डीजल रिपेयर टैक्सेशन सी डेप्रिसिएशन इंटरेस्ट देन एक्चुअल पैसेंजर्स कैपेसिटी सेवेंटी एवरीथिंग पहले तो यू कैलकुलेट द जनरल कैलकुलेशन कैलकुलेट द टोटल पैसेंजर माइल्स दिस इज this was about kilometers now this is about miles okay so calculate the miles miles and kilometers they are very similar only there is no difference okay so calculate karo uske baad remaining you take the standing charges and the running charges then divide karo whatever total cost you get divided with divide karo with your uh, this thing passengers kilometers then you will get the answer similar like your 5.1 will be same okay so those are you do it in your notes All right. Okay, ma'am. Then tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow I'll do this. Five point three and five point four. These both the these two are similar questions. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Fine then. I'll wind up the class now. And then tomorrow I'll take. Tomorrow at what time? Okay. Because I think tomorrow also they will those people will have offline class. Tomorrow is Saturday. Yes, no? ma'am. Okay. 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 Okay.